Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show, and welcome to my only thoughts on all of the things that are happening right now. You all know what I'm talking about. Everybody's been talking about it, and to, to be brutally honest, I have no Fs to give. Not my monkeys, not my circus. However, it has inspired my son and I to take up the torch, so to speak, and fight back the only way I think we can. Um, I am looking for a little bit of help. Uh, I, I'm looking at a couple of co-writers to help us create a system agnostic set of books for the gaming community. I have been saying for a long time what is really needed out there what what the the community sorry for using that word but I don't know what else to call it because um, not all of you are family and not all of you are friends there are a whole lot of you out there I've never met and probably will never meet but what what the environment is missing is new worlds and new settings new campaign ideas new places to travel and adventure and explore not new mechanics I, I frankly don't don't care um, I have plenty of games I can use and run to last me a hundred lifetimes. I have so many games in my collection that I'll never get to play and to jump on a bandwagon for yet another set of mechanics that that are, as I've always said before, just you know games with serial numbers filed off in, in a in a an attempt to reproduce the original games that came out back in the day that were fine for everybody for decades until corporate greed got in the way and and you know I know there's a lot of people out there that really like the the nuts and bolts of the mechanics but I just don't care I, I, I'm sorry but I, I I don't care what dice I use I don't care you know what game engine is used. I've tried a whole bunch of them out there, including the one from the bad guys out there, and I didn't find it in any way, shape, or form any better or literally any worse than anything else out there. There are things I didn't like. There are things I liked. I'm not going to lie. I, I played in Connell's game and, you know, when it came to mechanics, it was just another knockoff of the greatest thing that hit the gaming community in my lifetime. It, it had some pitfalls and some some snags along the way, and you know, with a little retooling, guess what? You'd end up back where you started from, in my opinion, with maybe you know half a dozen changes that that don't amount to a hill of beans, in my opinion. So we're going to be writing some game settings for any game because we're gonna go at it from a different angle, a different point of view. Uh, hopefully, it'll inspire you guys out there. To make your own worlds. That's what we want. At least in, in my neck of the woods. We want to see strange new worlds. Places to explore that are different. Have different takes and different viewpoints of the whole idea of gaming. Which is exploring and adventure and of course combat. And you know as far as I'm concerned you could just flip a die. Or excuse me flip a coin and... There's your outcome, good or bad, 50-50. Um, obviously, people are out there going to nitpick, oh, will it be 60-40 or 30-70? I don't care. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, when you're telling these stories years and years from now to people who have never played a game like this, they're not going to care the numbers you rolled. They, they really won't. Okay, sure, you got a critical. Okay, great. One in, one in 20 chance, a 5% chance or 15% chance to, to do that every time you you swing a blade or pull a trigger. Don't care. It doesn't matter. What matters is the adventure. You know, did you jump over a, a you know, pit of lava or, you know, fight, you know, man-eating crocodiles? That's what people care about. You know, did the planet have three suns and 14 moons and, and the sky was pink? That's what, that's what people are going to remember. When you think of uh, one of the the greatest sci-fi stories of all time. It had great new worlds that were, you know, taken from someone's imagination, and that's that's all great 
storytellers really care about. Great adventurers, they want to tell the story of of the daring deeds they, they, they did. The the insurmountable odds that they surmounted, so to speak. Th- that's what's really important at the end of the day. Go out there, make your own worlds, make your own adventures. The stories are what matter at the end. Not the the number of times you hit, not the number of damage you did, not the fact that you made your saving throw by one point. That, that that's that's not what I'm in it for. That's not what my son's in it for. We want to be able to tell great stories about great characters in great environments with a great and noble cause. Or you know, I guess the opposite would apply for you for you edge lords out there. But remember. I'm the original Edge Lord, and even I uh, saw the error of my ways. So, for all of you out there, I hope you'll 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 give it a thought or two, give it a moment, think about what you can bring out of your imagination. What kind of story can you tell? What kind of adventure can you lay out in front of your players and and hook them into? Because of the rewards, because of what's at stake in, in the imaginary world. Who will live? Who will suffer? Who will triumph over evil? Let's make it about that and not about a bunch of numbers that, you know, have been done before, will be done again, done until they're blue in the face because it's really just, it's just numbers. And, you know, it's it's not my bag, you know, and for those of you guys out there who are really into it, cool, then come up with something so drastically different that no one else can say you copied it from someone else you're not just mimicking or rewriting. The wheel was invented a long time ago, um, probably long before most of you were born, and will apparently get rewritten until the cows come home, and why? Just make up a world. Make up a system. Make up a story that your players can enjoy and that you will enjoy running. I can't think of anything else to say about this whole topic other than, again, Jade, not my monkeys, not my circus. No more Fs to give. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do a couple more videos about this with my friends out there. Um, and hopefully I can, you know, hammer this point home with them as well. Because, you know, for the most part, you all have, you know, 10, 20, 50, 100 games in your in your libraries. Go use them. Play them. Let's weather the year out. Watch the bad guys, you know, go down the drain and suffer for their their arrogance and greed and desperation and you know we'll continue doing what they want us to do the least and that's enjoy whatever game we want whenever we want with whoever we want like we always say here at the shadow and sun so play the games you love with the people you love and everything will be right with your world or worlds as the case may be until next time i gotta go beat my dog happy trails